Hey Nick, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut prescription lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132 size 52 new Wayfair. These are your, well let's get started actually, hang on, let's put your Italian frame into my Italian Santanelli LE1000 patternless edger. The stylus is going to come up and trace the shape of your right lens and it's going to move over and trace the shape of your left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. Now it's tracing the left. I'm going to pull up the shape of your, as soon as it's done. And it is done. Let's pull up that shape. Your PD is 64. I'm going to type that in there. This is a polycarbonate lens being cut for a xyle frame, which is an old school name for plastic. So this is your right lens, at least they've got it marked right. I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 118 on my Marco 101 lensometer. Your right eye reads plus 2, so I'm going to turn the power drum to plus 2. Put your lens in. Actually, let me hang on. Someone's been playing with this. Let me see. Someone's been working with some prism. Okay, now let's turn it to plus 2. And I'll put your lens in. Find the optical center. Your sphere powers are clear. Let me check your astigmatism. That looks good too. I'm going to put some dots on your lenses that will be hard to see. So let me see if I can do that even better. Let me wet these dots here. Okay, now let's put your right lens in. Get everything lined up perfectly. It's a little bit harder to see on these darker lenses, but I'm still going to take my pen and mark that some more of course that is the right put that on there let's do the same thing for the left spin that to 80 and power is plus 175 so I'm gonna back it down one step to 175 get everything lined up perfectly and that is now your left lens let's put these dots on there that's good I can see that so I need to put this block onto your lens while it is cutting so I'm going to put this block in the blocker. I've got a, a double-sided little sticky pad from 3M. The black side is the sticky side. Not sticky enough. There we go. I'm going to stick that on the block. Pull away the double-sided tape, making it sticky on this side. And essentially, I've got an optical crosshair here where I'm going to put your lenses on there. It shows me a vertical and a horizontal meridian. And I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly with those three dots I just did. Now let's do the left lens. Put that on there. And let's line up that left lens. Get the optical centers perfect in each meridian. And we're good to go. So I'm going to take your right lens, put it into the chuck. Hello, Chuck. Excuse me, Charles. I don't know you well enough. But the first thing that's going to happen, apart from the bad humor, is these calipers are going to come down and trace the shape of your right lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. It is tracing the concave side of the lens first, which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it's going to move over and trace the convex side of the lens, which sits away from the face. All the while, the caliper is measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to put the bevel. The cutting wheel is down here. It's the lighter color wheel on the left. It is like a heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away your lens material. And this wheel in the center with this channel that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close the door, but for now I just want you to see your prescription tinted gray lens as it touches down onto the cutting wheel. Now, your right eye reads, hang on, the wife, the wife is texting me. My new tablet came, my new Samsung Pro 12 inch tablet came. Now it's now 7 11 on Wednesday, May 7th at 74 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, at least according to my Samsung Gear 2 watch. But your right eye reads plus 2 minus 1 at 118. Your left eye reads plus 175 minus 150 at 80. Let me step away from the machine so I can hear a little bit. Plus 2. That is the actual magnification you need in your right eye. Without your glasses on, everything is much smaller in real life. It appears to me much smaller than it really is. So my waistline looks great when you have your glasses off. Now when you put them back on, and the unit of measurement in the optical field is called a diopter, and it's spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. 
and it's in quarter increments, zero being Plano, meaning nothing, um, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one, one and a quarter, 150, 175, two. That is the magnification you need. So you need eight steps of correction. If this were a ladder, you're on the eighth rung of a ladder. This gets everything the correct size. Now, you have four steps of astigmatism correction. That's why it's a minus one. So this first box gets everything in the correct size. The second number takes away the fuzzy edges with astigmatism, and there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. It's not a disease, it's not an affliction. It comes and goes, it fluctuates, but everyone freaks out over that. But uh, you have four steps. So sixes and eights look like the letters P and F look alike, but that's what it'll do. It'll clear though, get everything the right size, take away the fuzzy edges and that 118, if this straight edge were 0 to 180, with 90 being in the middle, 118 would be about right there. So if this were the fine-tune knob, that is what we would be doing, fine-tuning it to 118. The left eye needs less magnification. It's only a plus 175, so you only need seven steps of correction. However, you have six steps of correction with your astigmatism, and then it's at 80. If we were back at 90, we'd tilt it back, turn that knob back to 80 to make everything nice and clear and crisp. So the lens is finished cutting and it's actually on the bevel wheel now. Putting the bevel onto the lens. It's a knife-like edge, a very dull knife, like my wit and my humor. It is so sharp it actually might cut a wet piece of tissue. If you had to in an emergency. Alright, I'm going to take your lens out. I'm going to dry it off. And you still have a little bit of rough edges there. So I'm going to use my hand stone, which is completely flat. I can put my hand on it while it's rotating. And while my hand gets warm, that's about it. So I'm going to use my thumbnail to scrape this white powdery substance off of your lens. That is a that is called Schwarf. It's essentially optical sawdust. And once I get, use, get it all off of your lens, I wipe it onto the floor. And this is where I mind kids to stay in school. I went to school for years to learn how to make a mess. If you want to make a mess like me, stay in school and do what I tell you to do. So, in order to see if it fits, I tuck it in at the outside corner first, and then using my thumbs, I just press down and it snaps in, and that's how you're going to mount your lens. I'm going to do the same thing for the left lens. I'm going to flip it over, and then hit start. Just like before, the calipers will come down and trace the shape of your left lens, this time onto the concave surface first then move over and trace on the convex side of the lens. How vexing that is. Maybe you can get a better shot of the cutting wheel now. It's that lighter color wheel on the left. Your polycarbonate lens, and this is important, it is an aspheric lens, meaning it's much flatter. It does not give you that ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance. Polycarbonate is virtually unbreakable. It's 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic, for starters. It's virtually unbreakable. It is bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin from overexposure. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you essentially have permanent sunscreen for your eyes now. So I'm going to take that off. That block is no longer needed. Where's my paper towel? I'm just going to dry all that off and I do want to darken that red dot that is on your lens let me try everything off first because we'll need to measure that later I will darken that now I'm going to spin the axis wheel back to 118 which is the axis of your right eye somewhere is 118 there we go put that in there put it over the red dot we're coming in good we're reading plus two That's exactly what it is check your astigmatism correction we're actually at plus one now plus two minus one is one and that is what I'm reading on the power drum hopefully the GoPro camera is good enough for you to see that and since these are lenses only I'm going to go ahead and get this envelope that I ship in ready to do this is a Ray-Ban 2132 size 52 with RX tinted gray lenses. And I will mark these right and left, although with this frame it's pretty easy to figure out which is right and which is left. I will also be including one of my cleaning cloths with your purchase. 
with instructions on how to care for this or it will last you for years. No other internet seller is doing that. So now it's actually putting the bevel onto the lens and polycarbonate cuts dry. There is water running in the background as you can see, but it actually cuts dry until the very last cycle where these water jets will kick in and start to wash away some of that optical debris that is around the edge of your lens. There we go. Now it's going to clean it up. Of course, as soon as I take it out, I'm going to put much more sawdust on the sides when I do the safety bevel. But that's all right. This is what it does. So Nick the pilot, you're going to be flying multiple planes with these, he tells me. I work a lot with pilots, I've got many of them as my patients, they're some good people. Okay, again, let's put the safety bevel to take away those rough edges. In fact, one of the guys I had to cut for yesterday, he was going out of town immediately, he needed another pair of sunglasses, but he was the pilot in the Coast Guard during the movie The Perfect Storm, well before the movie, the real storm that the movie was based on. He was the one that helicoptered in, he was on call that night and rescued all those guys to where they made a movie about him. He is one of my patients now. So in order to check the left lens, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner and then using my thumbs press down on the on the nose and it snaps right in. Now if you have lenses in your frame now, the way to get them out, paper towel, paper towel, paper towel, and actually, while I've got them here, let me darken that red dot so you can see the measurement later on. I also want to spin the axis wheel back to 80. I will go ahead and verify that these were cut correctly. Put that in over the red dot. And I'm reading plus 175. We have one, one and a quarter, 150, 175, two. Check your stigmatism correction, which is minus 150. And a total of, if you have plus 175 minus 150, you have a quarter left. And that's where I have just one tick mark above zero. So we are good there. I want to, hopefully you can see this. Well, maybe I can just hold it over the light. Your pupillary distance is 64. So I'm going to hold this at the zero up on your right lens there. And when I put it up over your left lens, hopefully the GoPro camera will read that it is 64 millimeters. So that is cut perfectly as well. Now, if you have lenses in your frame now, the way to remove lenses from this frame, it's always with your thumb, it's always at the nose. I'm right-handed, so I grab the frame with my left hand and using my thumb, and I kind of torque back on the frame with my knuckles there, grabbing the side. I put this thumb on top of the other thumb and then I push outward, out comes your unbreakable lens. You're not gonna hurt your lens, you're not gonna hurt the frame by doing this. And again, to tuck them in, start at the outside corner and then just push down at the nose, it goes right in. So I do want to get these cleaned up for you. That is my frame. You are not going to get my frame. I'm going to ship you lenses only. And if anyone out there has any lenses that they need, I can ship. I do not need your frame. I can cut the lenses and then ship them right to you. And with the help of this video, I can show you how to pop them in yourself. If anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or just click the contact me button on the website and I will respond back very quickly. Thanks to my new smartwatch, it lets me know whenever I have emails. So I'm very fast to respond. So that is that. Nick, I hope you enjoyed watching your glasses being made. If you have any questions, I'm only an email away as I just explained. I will get these in the mail to you. The U.S. mail delivers very quickly in spite of everyone's complaint that you hear. I have fallen in love with the post office since I've started doing this. I'm amazed at how quickly and how fast they get everything to everyone without losing anything so that's that nick i hope you enjoyed watching your lenses being made and everyone else out there got the chance to see how i bring that loving feeling back to glasses thank you